Previously on The Potentialists. Uh, yeah, that, that people are getting very emotional about their questions. Yes. Yeah. And then I have like a 10 minute window now to catch my connection. Well, that's nice right there, man. You're telling me you work there, you don't have a bike? <laughs> Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. We're on our way to the hospital. Alexa's not feeling well, and um, we're going to do a checkup. Hopefully she's doing okay after the checkup. It's been a while since I've been in the hospital. This is the hospital where my mother passed earlier this year. Life will always throw you a curve and you just gotta make the best of it and learn from it. You know, we gotta learn from these things that happen in our life and realize why are these things happening because if you don't learn the message, I guarantee you, you will be repeating it. To be honest with you, this year, it's been a little trying, both emotionally, spiritually, and physically. So I ended up in the hospital. Dr. Valencia. Every time you're in the hospital, you beat up your friends. I know, that's good right. And she almost killed me in a car accident today. Uh, you wonder why you're alone. You beat up all your friends. You have no friends. You're Does it look like I'm alone right now? You're, you're, yeah, you're so wrong. I know, I probably have You're gonna be alone soon. <laughs> Seven o'clock comes, girl, you is alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and after the girls finished their examination, the doctor came in to do hers. Any history in the family of uterine cancer nothing at all so it could be hormonal i thought i had what's called the prolapsed uterus from having big babies but it wasn't that <laughs> A lot of most girls don't like to get their checkup like that <laughs> they checked me in my privates it's like a big condom for real <laughs> Wow, that's pretty long, man. Yeah, but the whole thing is not inserted. I definitely need drugs right now. Do you want to insert the probe or do you want me to do it? No, you go ahead and do it. <laughs> Open up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a BB virgin. Does it hurt me? <laughs> it hurts you? <laughs> Don't cry until I Oh, no, she's part. moving the uterus. I can feel it. <laughs> now that was uncomfortable. That freaked me out more than the wand. You might as well push it into place while you're in there. <laughs> what I have is cervical polyps. I think it's a condition that is pretty light. I can get resolved fairly quickly and easily. So you ready to go home? Yeah. Seems like we walked in and we're leaving. We've been here for like 10 hours. Five, six, don't make it until drive. Five. Um, um, five. We've been here since three. It is not I eight. spent my Saturday nicely. Yeah, my Saturdays have been crazy. I, I swear, I'm such a wild teen. I got so turned up, <laughs> faded. Oh my God. <laughs> Little did they know they'd be back in the hospital very soon. Hey, yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out. If you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowler World. Feel me?